one of the things, one of the questions leaders often wrestle with is how do we build consensus around the strategic plan? We've got it in place or someone's done a draft of it. How do you build consensus around that? Well, the first thing to see is that when you're communicating uh, a plan like this, uh, you teach process, not conclusion. In other words, you teach, what did the board go through? What thoughts did we have that led to the conclusion that this is our plan? So you teach process, not just conclusion. Then you have time to discuss and debate. Not just discuss, but in some cases, debate. Is this who we really are? Is this who we want to be? Ten years from now, is this still what we want to have in place? And then another thing is to have different hills where you say, all right, the, this department, you take this part of it. And you don't necessarily have to agree with this part over here, but you want to make sure your part is clear and your part is clear so that it isn't, I have to agree with everything, but I have to agree with what I'm responsible for is often helpful as well. So in a strategic plan and getting consensus built around it, a real key is to teach process, not just conclusion to everyone. To, when, you, when you announce your strategic plan to the, to the congregation, you don't just say, here is the plan. You say, here's how we arrived at the plan. Here's some of the discussion. Here's some of the debate. Here's some of the concerns we had. Here's how we dealt with them. And this is what we've concluded. If you, if you teach the process, not just the conclusion, the acceptance will be far faster.